Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I wanted to share with you this easy and fun DIY. And for this one, I'm going to be using some random pieces of fabric. So this one used to be like a long top, then this one bandana, and this one is like a sheer sleeve from like a long sleeve top that I just cut it to make it three quarters. But yeah, this is a good way, I think, to recycle clothing that you like the fabric, but you never wear it again. But I'm going to be cutting this in like squares and like rectangles to make it this easier to work with. I'm gonna be using some white school glue, like traditional one, and I'm just gonna be adding some water so it's easier to work with. I'm gonna be placing my pieces of fabric uh, on top of my matte scrap. I do have the review for this one, covering them in glue, giving them two or three coats, sliding in down between coats until they dry and harden. So while that is drying, I'm gonna be working on the template of my heart. I'm gonna be using for this a cookie cutter, a smallish one, using a cardboard. I do have the DIY showing you where I got this from. It's silly, but I found it real handy for me. I did a chair, tracing the shape of my cookie cutter with my Sharpie onto my cardboard. And I'm going to be cutting this. Now I'm going to be making some smaller hearts, folding half with my ruler. And this is going to be making the shape even. Then I'm going to be following the same shape that I have there, but just to make this smaller. Removing a few millimeters, I guess, and then just cutting it. And so we went from this one to this one. I'm going to be peeling off my pieces of fabric that are just hardened and dry. And this is the reason that I added glue to it, to just make them harder, like a folded piece of paper, or a bit harder than that, and so it has some structure to work with. Otherwise, the piece of fabric is going to be all loose and hard to work with. And here I'm just showing you like the three options. I have no idea what uh, the name of these fabrics are, but just like it will work in any fabric. Also, excuse my nails. They are like all over the place. I have my clear press hands. I do have to review for this ones. I'm just getting them ready for my next manicure. And yeah, this is pretty much about tracing the shape of the heart. If you have one of those like heart shaped punctures, just use that instead. It's going to be making your life a lot easier, I think, if it cuts fabric like hard fabric, I don't know. I've never done that, but you know, you can always give it a try or you can just try my method, which is like more DIY, I think, or just like more rustic, tracing all those shapes and then just cutting them one by one. And because I cut it by hand, they are not going to be like perfect shapes, but I did my best. But yeah, this is what they look like. I think they're a fun way to just make pretty hearts, recycling your clothing, and you can use them for many things, for our decor, to send cards and many different projects. I think I have like two or three different ideas that I wanted to share with you, sharing them with you next. Hope you have a fun and good Valentine's if you celebrate it. And if you don't, I really hope you like this DIY anyways and found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Check out more DIYs that I have on my channel. Subscribe for more and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye!